Hi. I was just going to show you guys a little bit about the uh, little GPS. Different ways to hook it up and makes life a lot easier for everybody. First you have your GPS. I have the Garmin 60 CSX. Great unit. Works really good. Then, by the RAM mount system. The RAM mount system comes in, well it comes all apart. You can get it in different pieces. So here's a connection for the GPS. Here's the center piece. And the suction cup. Suction cup's great for the window, for the front windshield, and the truck, and also on a canoe. I use it on the side of the canoe. I'll show out. So, put your GPS in your mount. It all uses ball type connections with the center, which makes it really, really easy to transfer to any other um, any other vehicle. And then whatever you have 12 volt, you could plug in a 12 volt connector. And it could go into your lighter plug-in on whatever you have a lighter plug-in, which I'll show you after. Okay, so we're in the van. Then you want to put it on. So you're just going to stick that over to here on the windshield. Turn the suction cup and tighten the connection wherever you want it. And that keeps your GPS on the windshield and in place. Take your lighter connector and plug it in. And now you got it battery for as long as your car battery will last. Simple as that. We'll move on to the next vehicle. All you do is take it off again, turn the suction cup back, and it's removed. Now that we've seen that it can go in basically any vehicle. They're all vehicles have windshields, so you can put it anywhere. Now we're going to put it in the canoe. I got my canoe here. And usually we're two people, and I ride in the back. So, all it goes is suctioned onto there. From there, because of the ram mount and the ball system, you could turn it and position it any way you want. So now we got it right there. Now I could see it no matter what while I'm paddling down the river. I also got a way of hooking power to it through a solar panel which I'll show afterwards. Okay. So well, that's that way. Then, now with this ball system, I can leave this suction cup here as I don't need the suction cup for my other connections. So, we can go on different things. We can mount it on the kayak. Kayak has a ball mounting on it too. And it's the same thing. I would wrap this around the tether cord so it doesn't end up in the water. And now I could be in the kayak going down the river and I always know where I am. Okay. So that's the boat, the canoe, the truck, the canoe, and the kayak. And now we got the boat over here. Same thing. Got a ball again connected to the boat. 
All the, the balls all stay where they are. Just screw that on, and that's connected. In the boat, I can use my power cord again. And under here, I have a lighter plug-in. I plug it into there, and then I have unlimited battery once again. So that's all the watercraft part. I'll grab the water, the lighter plug-in. Now I have a lighter plug-in again. Put it back in. Just show you on the quad. The quad has a ball on it also. The ball has a handlebar one. And it's basically the same thing. Connect it onto the ball. Position your GPS wherever you're going to see it best when you're sitting. Wire, wrap it around, and then plug it into the lighter plug in. Now I have power again. And we'll go to the last. The last thing we could connect this to now. Just down and get it off. You see it comes easily off. Just a couple of turns on screw it. I won't need a lighter plug-in. I'm going to pedal bike. Now I go to over to the pedal bike. Which is right here. Now it's basically the same thing on the pedal bike. The connection here. A ball, same as the quad, kind of, and then I just turn it. So now it'd be on the pedal bike, and you turn it. Now the nice thing with the GPS on the bike is it tells you your distance you traveled, how fast you're going. So it's like a speedometer, odometer, it does everything. Where you are. But as you can see, it works really, really well, and you can bring it to. That's the RAM mount system. And it, I like it. I think it works really, really good. I think you'll like it too. Thanks. Okay, I just wanted to show you about the, I was talking about the solar panel. There's a solar panel, that's a Motormaster Eliminator one. You need a bigger one. I have a smaller one, but it's not enough to uh, keep a GPS going. This bigger one is, but it's got to be in direct sunlight. So what I do for that is, I just have a lighter plug-in connecting. Connects to my solar panel. And I just take my light and plug in from my GPS, plug it into the GPS one end, and the other end, just plug it in here. And as long as the sun's shining, I could save batteries for when I'm hiking with the GPS and walking with it. Another good idea.